What's going on guys? It's your boy CBS back with another Destiny video. So in today's video, this is going to be my review slash gameplay review of the Stolen Pride Legendary Hand Cannon from the Prison of Elders. When I watch reviews, I want to know important things like critical damage, body damage, how bad is the rain's fall off, the rate of fire to damage output, things like that. So those are the things I'm going to show you so that you know what you're getting into with whatever weapon that I'm reviewing. If you just want to see the gameplay review, skip to the timestamp in the description box below or at the bottom of the screen. So to start it off, I have to say I have an amazing role on this stolen pride. You may even say a god role for this hand cannon. So, but that's just my opinion. So with that being said, let's go over the sights. The sights are fast draw and quick draw. Fast draw is preferred for me for this hand cannon because it gives you uh, added stability. Barrels, I got rifle barrel or, or reinforced barrel and braced frame. Both are decent, but hand cannons range increase is important in PvP, so it's really up to you. If you prefer stability, braced frame is great. If you prefer range, rifle barrel is great. My first perk is, or my only, my first perk tier is quick draw. Awesome perk for hand cannons because you want to be able to ADS quickly and get bullets down range. And my second perk, or my second two perks are Hidden Hand and Zen Moment. Hidden Hand is awesome, is an awesome perk for any gun, especially for hand cannons, because it gives you the added acquisition for your targets, as well as give it a little bit of bullet pull towards the head. And then Zen Moment is great if you stack it with either Brace Frame or Rifle Barrel, because causing damage gives you boost stability. So you're gonna see later that I mean, if you get this roll, you definitely want to experiment between stacking it with the, both different types of barrels because Zen Moment is a definitely a good perk for pistols. So I did testing with both rifle barrel and brace frame in PvP to see the difference in critical and body damage, but they were there was no difference. So critical damage at optimal range is 77 and body damage is 51. I want to give a special shout out to my buddy Guardian. He helped me go into the Crucible earlier today and test out the weapon, not for actual gameplay he just helped me test the critical and body damage stats at optimal range and outside of optimal range just so i can give you guys some stats on the screen to help you understand the weapon a little bit better uh his link will be in the description box below he does the youtube so go check him out so now that you know the important damage stats let's take it into the crucible to test out the rate of fire in conjunction with damage and how bad the range fall off is in certain situations so we'll see how how well the gun actually plays out. So let's do it. Okay, so our first match is going to be on the map Vertigo. Now, I'm not the biggest fan of this map just because of the way people play it. It's very up and down and people like to kind of go on the outside and kind of catch people slipping. So it can be frustrating, but it's good to see this right here. That Most of this lobby is pulse rifles and auto rifles. So that's good to see if you saw that in the preload screen. So... I should have a major advantage when we go into these closer corridor battles. So I decided to go with the Brace Frame Zen Moment build on this particular hand cannon. So I can get max. Oh, I missed all those shots. Holy moly. I finished them up though. Oh my god. Did you see that? It took me all seven shots to finish one opponent. That is bad aim. Note to self aim better. <laughs> Ooh, coming out with the. Finish them up here. Got him. All right. All right. I'll take that death. I mean, I probably could have finished him off with the, with my gun instead of just accepting the, the, the defeat. But I don't know. I was I was okay with it. So, all right. Got somebody over here. Got a little blip. Let's see what we got. I think he's crouching. Is he crouching? Yep. He sure is. Look at him. Crouching with the shotgun. That is a sign of either no skill or super try hard. You decide. But that was annoying to me. Where are you at? If he's anything like me, he has trouble with aerial attacks. Oh, that dude just jacked my kill. Damn you. I'm dead. I'm dead. Holy moly, my aim is poop! <laughs> Alright, let's let's uh let's get situated here. What is going on there? Alright, we got somebody coming up here. Got somebody coming up. He's done. Last word. Let it go, kid. That was back in 2.1, man. 2.2 is out, and the last word is not the best right now. Pulse rifled me up, and I did not fire fast enough. Ooh. I'm not really liking the Zen Moment Brace Frame build. Let's switch it back up. Let's go back to a 
rifled barrel hidden hand build and let's see if that makes a difference probably won't but I need to be more accurate with my shots anyway oh god he's right on top of me oh there you go 51 he's done he's running he's retreating got him he tried to retreat finished him up here comes another one here comes another enemy come on I'm aiming low though you see that I'm aiming way too low He didn't know I was coming from the back. He's done. Ooh, skip grenade, run, bitch! Skip grenades. Reload. Got a, got a combatant. I'm done. I'm getting shot from left and center. God, I meant from right and center. It's all right. Damn, he flew in from high up. Not, no, sir. I want to tell you, put that last word away, my dude. And we cheer touchdown. <laughs> all right. All right, so we got our blade dancer ready. I am running the ATSA tarantula exotic chest plate, which is more tailored towards well, easy kill, more tailored towards the PVE side of the house. But oh, you bitch, you bitch, <laughs> man! I hate when people. I know it's Rumble, so I should expect people will use a super for one person. But I hate it when people do that. There's so many more effective ways. Oh God, I'm gonna get jumped. At least finish the one I was looking at. I'm dead. I missed all my shots, and I'm getting shot from both sides. Damn it! All right. I do feel a little sluggish with this. I guess I'm used to using something like Mita during trials. I feel way more agile. And... Whoa. Damn. The level 10 got me with the crouch and fusion rifle. Wow. <laughs> oh, man. That's one. That's one. Sucker. That's two. That's all I got. It's alright. I got two kills with my super. I will take that. I don't really care for the heavy ammo, but I don't necessarily want them to just have it for free either. I should have saved it for that. Dude! Oh my god! I'm aiming too high! Ugh, man! Aiming way too high on this, this hand cannon is not a good deal. Alright. Maybe I should switch it up. Maybe I should go rifle barrel with Zen moment. Maybe let's try that out. Because hidden hand is not necessarily helping me the way I would hope it would, but. Oh yeah, you're done. You're done, kid. I'm gonna get hit in the back. Pull that special so he can't have it. Run for your life! I'm gonna get pinched. I'm getting pinched. All right. Damn sword! I had no. I should have just kept shooting instead of jumping. It's all right. I'm down four. Four minutes left. Down four, four minutes left. We go. We got it. We got this. This is definitely a slower pace rumble match, though. Most of the time, these rumble games get really sweaty, and the opponents take this shit crazy serious. Oh, he's done. No, I missed it to the left. Do you see that? Off to the left. God, I have to adjust that. That's the third time I can recall in this match already that I've been off high and to the left. He's done. There you go. Slow... Your fire rate down. I know this thing can fire pretty quick, but let's uh, control yourself here. Oh, I jumped into the nade. You see that shit? Ugh. I should have jumped forward. I jumped into the damn nade. <laughs> and I know, I know. I'm, a lot of people are going to say, why are you run, running Blade Dancer without Blink? Honestly, I'm not the best with shotgun for one. And two, you know, there's no reason to run Blink, in my opinion, without, without shotgun. So... Let's go. Sit that down. Last word didn't give me that time. But yeah, I just don't really feel the need to run Blink without shotgun. I mean, I know it's an effective way to evade and surprise your enemies. But, you know, it's just not really my play style. So, I'm done. Havoc Pigeon. Oh, my God. I got him anyway. Wow. He should be ashamed of himself. So, I'll go ahead and say, touchdown. All right. Let's go Blade Dance on him. Just because. Oh, no. No. No freaking way man oh my god you bastard oh man i shouldn't have done that that was stupid it was one guy he wasn't even looking at me i had the advantage to begin with that guy wasn't even playing that was an easy kill for me deep with that oh my god he's got me hurt run bitch damn lightning nades holy shit oh my god i can't believe i won that battle i'm gonna get pinched though it's all right Kodak coming to steal another kill with that Havoc Pigeon. I don't know if the ha I've yet to try the Havoc Pigeon out in the 2.2 update, but I'm 
It must be pretty good if he's putting enemies down. I mean, he's lost. He lost to me in both those engagements. Oh my god! I hear him charging it. I clearly hear him charging it, and I don't react at all. What was that? Jump or do something, man. Evade. I guess if I was a night stalker, I could have just shade stepped it right at the last moment. But knowing me, I wouldn't have thought to do that, and I would have just the same result would have happened anyway. Like, right. no, 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 no. You're dead. That was easy. I like stealing kills and rumble. All right, one, one, one minute remaining here, and we're about to go to time limit rumble. That's not good. That shows the lack of skill for this lobby, including myself. All right, reload. This guy wasn't even looking at me. I should have took them easy shots while I had the chance. I said, give me that kill. Took the lead with that. There you go. Come on. Two more kills. Actually, no, yeah. A kill and an assist, even. Crossfire. Damn it. Kodak just put down two with the damn sidearm. Oh, my God, man. Come on, give me some easy kills. Give me somebody not looking. Nope, no. Damn it. That's all right. Well, that was a decent first match to start off with. It's it my first match of the day. So let's uh, see how we do in game number two. Map number two, the Burning Shrine. So I know I'm reviewing the Stolen Pride, but I may, in certain occasions, I might have to pull out my sniper if I do want to stand a chance of winning. So this is another sniper that I will, I do plan on reviewing. So just keep that in mind. Let's see what we got here. This is another good map. This is one of my favorite maps in the game. Um, the first Trials map ever, if you guys don't remember. It's just a good overall map. So I don't know if this guy's playing or hiding or what. Oh, he's not playing. So give me those easy kills. That'll start the game off. First kill. Lead with the grenade. He's done. Grenade kill. Gotta love that arc bolt. A lot of a lot of hunters prefer... Look at you trying to cheese me. A lot of hunters prefer the damn skip grenades, but I personally do not like it. Is this guy not playing? Is this the one not playing? No, he is playing. No! No, oh my god, my aim is so bad. Ask my brother, man. My brother would tell you. I'm not necessarily the best Crucible player when it comes to at close range engagements. I prefer long range rifle to rifle gameplay. Not not to say that I don't enjoy hand cannons. I'm just saying. Oh, it's got, got the hiccups there. I'm just saying that I prefer. You know, rifle skill over close quarters, fast pace, freaking hand cannon, auto rifle, etc. Now, I do enjoy the occasional uh, auto rifle, though. Holy crap, I can't believe that one that engaged me. He hit me twice with the shotgun at pretty close range. He must be using the end times of need. <laughs> that thing is poop. All right. Where's the action at here? Where's the action at? They're hiding from me here. Shotgun. Damn you. He's rocking the. New Flawless Trials emblem. I think that's supposed to intimidate people, but it doesn't really. It makes people think you're a douche. You're dead. Oh my god. Fix your aim, guy. What is going on here? Throw that out there. He's still running. What? Okay, do you guys see this? I'm hitting him. Clearly hitting this guy. Nothing's happening. Oh my god, I'm clearly hitting this guy. Nothing's happening. I knew that was coming. I saw that coming. Damn it! Iron Wreath I love the sidearm Iron Wreath D. It's a beast. I did an entire Iron Banner one time with the Iron Wreath D, and it felt good. What the fuck? Do you see that? Man, something's going on with this thing. I don't know if it's me or the gun or what, but that was. I got a target not moving, not playing, and I'm not even getting the hits I should be registering on this dude. Oh, he's done. Wow, I, I hit him with sniper and I still almost lost that engagement. What the hell was that? You're in the lead. Double kill. Double kill. Triple kill. Let's go, baby. Gutted. Ooh, somebody stole that girl. God damn it. Trying to run. My arc bolt's not going to hit him. He's too far to range. And then that guy finishes him off. Damn you. I'm sure he's trying to he's gonna try and slide shock at me, right? Nope. 
All right, I'm not, I'm not, I'm not liking that engagement. Let's pull it back here. Somebody pushed him though, so I have a chance here. Oh, he's hurt. You're done. Try to come up behind him with the fusion rifle. What? I stopped shooting. That was three clear headshots. What was that shit? Oh my god, man. Oh, that's the story of my life. Oh god, I don't know why I just said that. That's that is my luck in the the crucible, man. Don't try it, dude. Put that shit down. Double kill. Triple kill. Fill that out. He, oh, he did follow. Oh my god. Oh my. <laughs> I cannot believe that guy just followed. He was clear that I had it. He shouldn't have chased. Rule number one in Crucible. Ace Double teach you this if he, if he ever decides to open up his Crucible 101 channel. Don't fucking chase in the Crucible. It's just not smart to do that. Let's leave with that. I think let's see if he, if he comes out. Oh, I hit him though. He's done. What? I stopped shooting. I stopped shooting again. Come on, man. Give me my clear headshots and let's go home, man. Damn. Tell me you're not dead yet. Good night. Crucible wins. Hey, I ranked up my rumble. 25 more to go. <laughs> let's go. So, overall... I think the weapon handled really well. Uh, if you want to compete in the Crucible, I think it's, an, it's a valuable option. There are going to be better options, such as the Mago Loop, Ace of Spades, things like that, as far as hand cannons go. But it can definitely compete with any of those because the rate of fire and damage combinations work out very well. So with that being said, my name is CBS. I hope you guys enjoyed this legendary hand cannon review of the Stolen Pride. If you did, don't forget to subscribe. As always, tell your mother to call me. Be safe, and I will catch you guys on the next one. Peace. What are you waiting for? Do it! Yes, you can!